Hello mga grade 9 learners naman. Teacher V is here and let's continue our lesson about the different theorems related to parallelograms. So this time, nasa theorems on square na tayo. Again, this is for week 3 pa rin. Meron na akong ginawang video para sa rectangles and sa Robust. So, ito na yung pangatlong klase ng parallelogram na i-discuss ko sa inyo. Ilalagay ko sa description box yung link ng mga videos ko related sa rectangles and rhombus. Okay, so going back here on square. So, these are our objectives. You're going to learn the definition of square and apply the theorems on square in solving problems. Now, let's define the square. So, alam ko, alam nyo na ang ibig sabihin ng square. Okay, when we say square, it is a parallelogram with four congruent sides and four right angles. So, you see, katulad siya ng rhombus na may four congruent sides. Then, katulad din siya ng rectangle na may four right angles or interior angles. So, tignan natin. This is our square. So, may mga guhit na ganyan sa side. Ibig sabihin, they are equal. So, parang pareho sila ng rhombus. Pinagkaiba lang nila sa rhombus. Sa rhombus, ang interior angles nila ay hindi 90 degrees. Dito sa square, ang kanilang mga angles or interior angles ay 90 degrees. Katulad ng rectangle. Okay. Now, what are the different theorems related to square? I-review lang natin yung theorems sa rectangle and theorems sa rhombus. Kasi, yung square is the most special parallelogram. Ayan, special pala si square. Sana all special, ano? Because all the properties of parallelograms and the theorems on rectangles and rhombuses are true to all squares. So, meron na tayong na-discuss na different theorems sa rectangles. Ito yon, At different theorems sa rhombus. So, lahat ng mga theorems na yan, pati yung properties ng parallelograms, ay true sa square. Okay? So, lahat yon sa kanya, okay. So, therefore, we can say that the different theorems related to squares are the following. So, if a parallelogram has a right angle, then it has four right angles and the parallelogram is a square. So, ito ay galing sa rectangle. Diba? So, pwede sa kanya yung theorem ng rectangle. Masasabi rin natin square kung meron siyang right angles, four right angles. Another theorem na related sa square is the diagonals of a square are congruent. So, katulad sa rectangle, yung kanyang diagonals ay congruent din. And ito naman, yung katulad ng mga theorem sa rhombus, di ba? The diagonals of a square are perpendicular. So, katulad sa rhombus, perpendicular din yung kanyang uh, diagonals. At yung diagonals ng square bisects opposite angles. Okay, so hinahati din niya. Ito, two equal parts yung ating mga opposite angles. So, makikita natin na pupwede sa square yung theorem ng rectangle and pwede rin yung theorem ng rhombus sa kanya. So, kailangan, bago mo pag-aralan yung theorem about squares, alam mo na muna yung theorems about rectangles and rhombus. Kasi andoon, lahat ng yun pupwede sa square. Okay, so i-apply natin yung mga theorems na yan sa pagsusolve ng mga problems. So, refer to square F-A-I-T. So, F-A-I-T. So, this is our square and consider each given individually. So, if F-I, so where is F-I? So, this is F-I, segment F-I. If segment F-I is 14 inches, so 14 inches ang measurement niya, what is the measure of segment A-T? Okay, so diagonals ng square I congruent or equal. So therefore, 80 is also 14. So the answer here is 14. And don't forget the measurement, the unit of measurement, inches. So 14 inches is the right answer. Next, how about sa letter B? If segment HF 
is 7.5 inches. So, ito yung HF. What is the measure of segment HI? So, this is HI. Okay. So, obviously, ito ay equal din sa 7.5 inches. Okay. The answer in letter B is 7.5 inches. Next, letter C. If segment AT is equal to 18 inches, nasan si AT? Ayan. AT is 18 inches. Segment AFH measures, so FH. Okay, so this is FH. We can say that this is equivalent to 9. Bakit naman naging 9? Okay, so tandaan, the diagonals ng ating square are congruent. So pantay sila nitong segment AT and segment FI. So parehong 18 yan. Pero kalahati lang yung kinuha natin or yung FH lang. So, kalahate ng 18 is 9. So, the answer here is 9 inches. Letter D. If the measure of angle 2 is 45 degrees, the measure of angle FAI is... So, nasan ba angle 2? Ayun. Yung angle 2 daw ay 45 degrees. So, ano ang measurement ng angle FAI? So, nakita ninyo pa L, pa letter L yung ating angle. So, pag pa letter L, automatic ang measurement niyan ay 90 degrees or right angles. So, we can say that the angles is 90 degrees. How about letter E? What is the measurement of angle E? So, nasa ng angle E? Ito, yung angle E. According to theorem number 3, the diagonals of a square are perpendicular. Or kapag nag-meet yung dalawang diagonals na yan, may nabubuong 90 degrees na angle. Ito yun, yung pa letter L. Yan, so letter L. So 90 degrees. So therefore, what is the measurement of angle 3? Okay, you're correct. The measurement is 90 degrees. Kasi, yan, letter L or perpendicular siya. So the answer is 90 degrees. Alright, now, example number 2. Given the square MATH, or math, MATH, with HT, segment HT is equal to 8x minus 13, and segment AT is 7x plus 11. So, find the value of x and the length of segment HT and AT. So, alamin daw natin yung sukat nitong mga sides natin. Pero, bago natin malaman yung sukat nito, kailangan nyo munang makuha yung x. Kasi yung given natin is may x. Ayan. 8x minus 30. So, walang exact measurement. ba? So, kailangan nyo munang makuha ang x. Now, applying the different theorems related to square, we can say that segment HT is equal to segment AT. So, yung HT is equal to segment AT. Why? Remember, the sides of our square are congruent. So, equal sila pare-pareho, ba? So, equal natin yung HT sa AT. So, we will write down the given, yung HT natin, which is 8x minus 13, and yung AT, 7x plus 11. So, sinubstitute lang natin yung HT, ay okay, ito yun, and then yung AT. Then, in-equal natin sa isa't isa. Then, isolve na natin yung x. So, we will need to isolate the 7x. So, ipat lang natin siya to the other side. Tapos, magiging negative. So, that's why we have 8x minus 7x. And then, itong uh, 13, negative 13, minove lang natin to the other side. Naging positive 13. Or, pwede rin yung APE na tinatawag. Subtract 7x from each side and add 13 to each side. Okay? Then, 8x minus 7x is x na lang. Then, 11 plus 13 is equal to 24. So, therefore, our x is equal to 24. Ngayon, nakuha na natin yung x. Pwede na natin makuha yung length ng hd and at. Para magawa yun, we need to substitute the value of x to ht and at. So, kahit isa na lang actually, kahit ht na lang. So, ang x natin is 24. 
So, ito yung sukat ng HT. Diba? HT is equal to 8X minus 13. So, palitan natin yung X ng 24. So, 8 times 24 minus 13. So, 8 times 24 is 192 minus 13. The answer is 179. At ito na rin mismo ang magiging sukat ng AT at ng iba pang sides ng ating square. Kasi they are congruent, diba? they are equal. Pero ipakita din natin, kung halimbawa, ito yung ginamit natin, 80, 7x plus 11. So, palitan lang natin yung x ng 24. 24 times 7, that is 168 plus 11. The answer is 179. So, nakita ninyo, equal pa rin sila. Eh, kahit ano dito yung gamitin ninyo, makukuha nyo pa rin yung sides ng ating square. Kasi nga, ang square, they are congruent. They have congruent sides. All the sides of the squares are congruent. Okay? Alright. So, each side has a length of 179 units. Okay. So, again, these are the different uh, theorems on squares na kailangan yung tandaan. So, kung ano yung theorem ng rectangle at yung theorem ng rhombus pwede or gagamitin natin sa squares. Sa theorem 1, it has 4 right angles. Sa theorem 2, yung kanyang diagonals are congruent. Theorem 3, yung kanyang diagonals are perpendicular. And theorem 4, the diagonal of square by sex opposite angles. So, tandaan yung mga theorems na yan para hindi kayo nalilito sa ating mga parallelograms. If you have questions, or suggestions, you can drop it on our comment section para malaman at marinig ni Teacher B. So, that's it. So, this is the end of our lesson for today. I hope na mas naliwanagan ka sa mga topics ninyo related sa parallelograms. And don't forget to like this and share to your classmates para mas lalong dumami ang mga estudyanteng natututo at nagmamahal sa mathematics. You can also follow me on my Facebook page, the VTeach channel. See you again sa susunod kong video and goodbye!